Welcome to the Helm uh, Developer Weekly Community Call for uh, Thursday, October 25th, 2018. Um, I'll host today, I'm Matt, I'll chair. Uh, the minutes and notes are at, I'll share those in chat here. Uh, for anybody who wants to join along, typically what we do is we start with announcements, stand up, then we have any open discussions, and then we do assignments for next week, such as moderator notes and uh, uh, the issue Sherpa, and that's the person who's gonna go through and just look through all the, the Helm issues and triage, all the stuff that comes into the Helm Helm repo. Uh, that's our standard flow. Uh, this week, um, there are no announcements listed here. Did anybody have any announcements of their own? All right, fantastic. Uh, I'll add one quick thing in here. Uh, I sent an email out to the Helm, uh, the general CNCF Helm list. If you're not on it, there is a list.cncf.io. There's a list for general Helm discussions about kind of the status of the distributed search that we're working on um, and where that's at. So if you've got questions, if you're wondering what it means to you, there is a, it's not long, but it's not short email that kind of gives us status since it's the first status on that. And we'll probably try and keep folks in the loop now as we continue to work on things that are related to that. Uh, Matt, it's Henry. Um, is that spec somewhere? Um, is, is, is part of V3 or is it something totally different? For the distributed search? Yeah. It is something different. Uh, here, I'll, I'll drop the link in real quick. Thank you. And yeah, this is just allowing people to um, host their own charts versus having the the whole right. community stable. Right. Okay. Fine. Yeah, it, it, and the real reason we went there is the single repo is not scaling as far as people go and and the level of activity. It's very very hard, and so we want to go to more of a distributed manner. If you're familiar with something like uh, Packagist and Composer and PHP. Um, when it comes to package managers, that, that may be the closest idea because the packages themselves are hosted all over GitHub, GitLab, Bitbucket, wherever. It just provides a central metadata search to find things. Right. Where, where like something like NPM actually hosts all of the packages. We're going to do that central metadata search rather than host all of the things. And then you can have things like competitors. If you've got five people who want to do something slightly different with MariaDB, you have the ability to share those and maybe compete and, and see which one's the best. Right. Rather than having one that, uh, quite frankly, may move at a slow pace because we have trouble with maintainers being in there and things like that. It lets people kind of it, it gives more of a free market, I should say, to this okay. thing. Oh, so I understand. Great. Thank you. Perfect. OK, so that's the status uh, when it comes to stand ups. Who do we have here? Um, we really are limited today. Josh, you want to kick off uh, the stand ups? Sure. Um, so I am uh, deeply investigating a uh, possible Helm login command that will allow you to um, log into a, a repository provider that may provide multiple Helm repositories. And so when you do Helm repo add, you don't need to put username, password, or anything like that. So I'm putting together... Um, I'm putting together a markdown document that I can submit for the Helm 3 proposal and making sure that it makes sense. Um, that's about it. Um, Chart Museum also just got a PR for um, Oracle storage backend. Um, I guess, uh, Matt? Yeah, I guess it goes to me. Uh, so I did a, a few things this week. Uh, one, I'm working on, and I demoed it earlier this week, and it'll go up probably tomorrow, uh, a Helm repo auditing tool that I've started. It allows you to point it at one or more Helm repositories that provides like a valid index.yaml file and start to audit it. The very first thing it does is look for um, digest, which is your hash of a package, and look for those that change for the same version. So that way you can say, hey, is everybody keeping their stuff immutable in this repo? There's a roadmap for more things to be audited and the architecture is still coming together. The idea is you could take something like this and, and audit things and maybe stick it in a cron job. I kind of like from a security standpoint, being able to not just say we have trust things, but also being able to audit those. 
And so that's what this tool is. And we were talking earlier this week about how to bring that in for the distributed search to actually use that to check some of the repos coming in to make sure they were following the outline best practices and stuff like that. So um, I worked on that as well as uh, uh, some more tooling just for the charts repo and uh, some reviews over there. So that's what I worked on. Um, I think that's it for the core folks. Did anybody from the community have a uh, stand up or anything they wanted to share? A non core maintainer? I, I've got some questions that are just not as a stand up, but maybe we can do that in the issues in terms of. I know Adam's sure. not here, he can't give us the, can't give us the V3 um, update. Um, but I mean, I guess the big question there, I just, um, I think, I think you did it, Matt, didn't you? To, to put the, you know, into the backlog in the, the issue of the sections of V3 into the kind of backlog charts. Was, I think you did that, didn't you? I yeah, think. yeah, I, I can talk about that. We can get into your questions. You have the discussion topic point for uh, issues needing some extra love. No, that's, Mar that's Martin, actually. So, oh, uh, sorry, Martin. Sorry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we can get into your thing uh, with the discussion. What was it you wanted to discuss? Neil, Just the V3? Or? Uh, well, I'm just, so first of all, one of the things we said, I think, a couple of weeks ago was, you know, I think Adam was going to look at seeing, you know, now we haven't at least laid out which of those might be able to be expanded out so people beyond Adam could actually start. So we can start paralyzing some of that work because um, obviously, you know, you know, Adam's brilliant, but one person and B3 is going to take a long time. <laughs> it, it really is. And we didn't want that. So uh, we might as well go into the discussion then. Um, okay. And we can start with the V3 stuff. Um, I probably shouldn't share this now, but I'm transparent. So give me just a second. I'll share my screen. This is by no means fully baked. Um, and we're going to start doing status, uh, hopefully every week in here on the state of V3. Can you all see my screen? You should see a browser window for projects Helm Helm. Yeah. yeah. And there's a Helm V3 here, and it's not done. This, this is not fully baked yet, but it kind of gives an idea of we've been putting information in and trying to put to where it's at and what's been done. So that way you can see what's been going on. And a number of these things are cards that link back to other work, and there's, there's quite a bit in the backlog, but you're starting to get a picture of what's been done so far. Um, this is not fully baked. It probably isn't ready for the world to see yet. Once it's done, we're planning on writing a blog post to kind of say, here's where you can learn more about what's going on with V3, because many people are asking. Um, but this just kind of breaks it out and gets us going so we can track the project. Uh, Matt, um, a question came up actually yesterday uh, from somebody um, in relation to they saw this, and they saw the project layout, and they, uh, and they said it was great. And they were saying, do, do you just jump in there and take something off the backlog? So maybe I suppose people need to, to know what, uh, what is the, the uh, yeah. opposite Mandaranda at the moment, I suppose. So, so I can probably help a little bit with that with giving some guidance. I would say with the extensions, if it's Lua related, don't touch it. They're actually doing a, some meetings on that this week. And I, we had some healthy debates on it last week to figure out how to make some of the Lua stuff work. So I would say if it touches Lua, just just leave that aside right now. We, we need to have some, uh, we're having some hearty, healthy engineering debates. We'll just say that amongst people who know this stuff better than me. Um, so there's that. If we go to the Dev3 branch, Dev D3, if we come here, there's some top level directories here, right? There's the package directory, there is the command directory, which only has Helm in it. It used to have other things. I would say this package directory for now, if it's in there, it's probably not quite safe to go mess with at the moment. Um, I need to finally get that thumbs up from Adam. And I actually expected that like last month. So uh, I'm going to start leaning on him for some of that stuff. Um, now there are some, some gotchas in there that are okay. If it's in the command Helm directory where we could change stuff in there, it's probably totally safe to go after. Okay, because while he's changing core pipelines and things like that, stuff in the command Helm directory said, okay, that's, that's fine. So one of the issues that came up on the community repo was actually looking at the help text and grouping things and to, to make that easier to parse. And that's something that could easily be done. Um, 
But then if you come into the package directory, it turns out there actually are places that are safe uh, to work on. And so I would say if it's a repository thing in here, it's probably safe. Now your Helm push, you can't do that yet because as we talked about earlier, we're still figuring out how to do login and push and Josh is tackling the hard parts like figuring out OAuth workflows, working with multiple providers, the plugability, all of that's kind of being worked out. In fact, Josh has a nice doc he's been working on and talking through with people who know this stuff and know OAuth workflows and CLI tools to make sure we can, we can craft something that'll work, right? As the defaults and then you know, we can make that pluggable. But something like the repository V2 specification is entirely fair game. <clears throat> Excuse me, I've got a cold. Uh, the schematized value files, that's probably also a fair game. Um, I'm trying to understand some of this stuff. The Lua plugins, not the down, the installing plugins, <clears throat> that's probably also a fair game. These are some of the things that right now are probably fair game for somebody else to step in because they're not part of that core that Adam's working on. And they're also not something where we're arguing over technical detail at the moment either. Does that help? Sure, I think yeah, yeah, that's good because um, it, it it was it was um, I suppose it was healthy to see that someone had seen this and uh, probably asked the question as well out in the community. Maybe it makes sense, uh, Matt. Like you described, some of them that might be fair game. Maybe we have a fair game label, not fair game, but something. <laughs> yeah, that that's why I say this. Well, I'm showing the board off now. We didn't actually intend on showing it off this week. Yeah, right. But that's something we planned on doing. We just haven't gotten to that point in organizing this stuff yet, right? We've only had so much time. People have been traveling. I've been sick. We've had, so that's why we weren't planning on showing this off till next week. And so I, I figured we just have more time to get that in there. So I'm kind of showing you off the cuff what's here, and hopefully we'll be able to more formalize that coming up. Yeah. So that's why I kind of mentioned it, Matt, just to say that obviously someone saw it out there. Uh, um, Thank you. So. Yes. Hi, sorry, that's me. <laughs> Okay. The link. <laughs> All right, so, so that's uh, the, let's see, that was for the um, kind of the weekly review of, of Helm V3 and what's going on there. Uh, are there any other questions around Helm V3 that I can kind of answer right now or try to or punt really well? All right, fantastic. Uh, then the next discussion item was issues needing some extra love. Okay, that was me. Um, so that's kind of um, when I just go through the through any issues I see, I try and respond to them, okay. and then any ones that I can't or any ones that I think could could be closed out, I'm just throwing them in there for you guys to to finish them out. Okay. No, thank you. I hope um, that's whoever... I hope that's helpful, not um, causing you problems, basically. No, no, no. This is helpful. Thank you. Whoever's issue sharper this week can probably jump on these. Um, okay. So I'll stop my share. Did we have anything else uh, that we wanted to discuss this week? Anything that anybody wanted to jump into? Any questions? Anything? Open discussion? Yeah, question about distributed repo, if we can talk about that. I'm sorry, what was that? Sorry, uh, question about distributed repo? Sure. Yeah, okay. I understand we, people will take care of uh, charts, but there'll be some Abaddon charts, basically. Nobody will take, well, nobody owns those charts, like a community charts. What happens to those charts? If we could be left about 50, 100 charts, nobody wanted to take care, nobody will want to look after. What are we going to do with these charts? Are they good charts, maybe? That is a wonderful question. Some of those charts are not being given the proper maintenance love today. Um, our goal is to hopefully take all of these and help them find a new home. Exactly where that new home will be is right. to be determined. Um, I think it kind of depends. We'd love to see everything get a new home where it'll get some good, healthy life. Like, uh, for example, the MySQL chart for quite a while was mostly not being touched. And, you know, can we get somebody like Oracle to take that on or some Oracle folks to take that over and continue that on? We want to try to make sure that everything we can gets a nice new home. I think if there's a bunch of them that can't, uh, then we'll try to figure out what to do with those. Um, but our first priority is to, to 
really drive and help them find new homes. Um, but that after could that, take a while. What? But that could take a while. We, I, I expect it to take a while. I don't expect it to be immediate. In fact, yeah, the stable and incubator repos will be around for at least as long as Helm V2 is supported. And Helm V2 is going to need to be supported for a while after Helm V3 is out because you can't just deprecate a V2 when a V3 comes out because that's a major yeah. breaking change. <clears throat> we'll have to have that around for a while. And since stable is baked into Helm V2, we're going to have this, we're going to have this for quite a while. And so we're going to have time, hopefully, to find them new homes or for those that don't to figure out what's the proper strategy for what we have left to do with when we get a look at what we have left. All right. Thank you. Okay. We don't want to just abandon a bunch of stuff that's useful. We really do want to help it have a good productive home. So did anybody else have anything in the general discussion? Any questions? Awesome. Uh, then I, I guess, guess what, sorry, I just, oh. hi, Farina. Hey. I just jumped in, sorry. I was dealing with puppy issues and then um, the World Series happened, so I'm going to that, see them, that, so. Um, anyway, sorry, I got a little thrown off. Um, I just want to report, so I didn't do much of the actual like coding this week with Helm, but I am going to be, um, just one more plug, uh, if you, I think they're streaming the Shanghai KubeCon stuff, so I'll be talking about, during the Helm deep dive, the the roadmap for Helm 3, or not the roadmap, sorry, the, uh, the feature, kind of a more deep dive on the different feature sets of Helm 3, so for those in the community interested in that, I know there's been a lot of people like, hey, what's going on with Helm 3, like it's it's going on. I just um, wanted to give people the chance to know and see what was going on when I get that at KubeCon um, Shanghai. Okay. Uh, remind me later, I gave a talk last night on Helm V3 to a local meetup, and I could probably shoot you those slides where they're at if you wanted to poke oh, that would be that would be much appreciated because I was going to use that kind of some of the stuff that Adam has as a starting point as well. So it'd be good to have that. Yeah, and I totally stole my slides and the content from them from uh, from the proposal doc. Yeah, which That's is my plan originally anyway. Yeah, which is fantastic. Okay. Yeah, I, I creeped in and watched some of that talk on the, on the webcast. It was nice. Cool. <laughs> um, Taylor, I also have slides I can share too. I'll take any and all slides because then I can, I can take the best and then we can keep just iterating on the, the deck and share it around. So it's easier for us to give presentations and meetups and stuff. Cool. cool. Just hit me up on Slack if you don't already have my email. Yeah. All right, uh, so assignments. Uh, moderator for next week. I can take it. You got it, Josh? All right. Notes. All right, we can punt that to next week because we're missing a bunch of folks. An issue, Sherpa. I guess I'll do that. All right. Well, thanks for the short meeting. Um, everyone, I guess, uh, have a wonderful week, and we should be back with Larger Crowd next week. Thanks, Mike. Thanks. Thanks, Mike. Bye. Bye.